Hello. All right. So another uh, exciting lightning talk coming up. Um, I'm going to talk about how to create uh, efficiently create named entity statistics using PIG from uh, Wikipedia. Uh, a couple of words. Uh, you, you need to know something about me. I studied uh, computational linguistics. I have a favorite open source project called uh, DBpedia Spotlight that you're going to uh, hear more about in a second. And uh, I work at Neophony as a software developer. We are a silver sponsor at this conference. Uh, we specialize in uh, search, online portals, and uh, mobile apps. And we have an awesome R&D department that uh, finished uh, more than 14 um, research projects. An ongoing one at the moment is called DICODE, uh, which aims to uh, build scalable um, uh, data mining and collaboration services. Um, and one use case in this um, project is uh, social media monitoring. So you might have uh, already heard about it. Um, as a brand, you might be interested in uh, knowing how, what's the talk about your brand on Twitter or on blogs and, and so on. Um, so one problem right there is uh, the ambiguity of uh, names and concepts. So if you refer to something uh, with a string, it can mean many things, and you need to know that it's really the brand that you're talking about is yours, or the name that you're talking about is really this person um, that you're interested in. So what you need is actually called uh, named entity disambiguation. I'm going to do a quick example of what that is. Um, we have this example sentence. Uh, Michael Jackson died in, in 2007. So now we want to uh, see which Michael Jackson that is. First of all, we have to, in the first phase, find um, the interesting strings in this sentence, and that will be uh, called the recognition task. And what we find is uh, so-called surface forms. So these are the interesting strings, um, the surface forms. And uh, in this sentence, it's Michael Jackson. And now that we have that, we, in a second step, have to do disambiguation. So we have to choose the correct entity that is referred to by this name. And uh, for Michael Jackson, we have two candidates, and we will refer to them as the singer and the journalist. And now our algorithm has to decide which one of the two it is. Uh, what we can do for it is, um, what the best we can do actually, is to look at the context. So we see that uh, he, this person died in 2007, and uh, if we know that, we know that it's the journalist because the other person died in 2009. Now, this uh, context is very distinctive and is a, is a luxury of having it. You can also have something uh, more general, like Michael Jackson came to Paris, and you can't really tell which one of the two it is from looking at the context. So what you want to do here is say, okay, usually when people talk about Michael Jackson, we, uh, we mean the singer. So we need some way of encoding the knowledge that normally um, Michael Jackson is, uh, is referring to the singer. And how do we do that? Uh, we try to estimate some probabilities, and we're going to use uh, Wikipedia for that. So this uh, probability, given a surface form, so given a string, what is the probability distributions of uh, the possible entities that the string can uh, refer to? So for example here, um, given Michael Jackson and ignoring the context, what is the probability distributions for the singer and the journalist? And it should ideally be something like, um, something heavily favoring the singer. There's uh, also other useful probabilities for the task um, that I'm not gonna uh, get into here. So in general, we use a, a maximum likelihood uh, estimate using uh, Wikipedia page links. And uh, we, uh, I'm going to go also into more detail about that. Uh, let me just tell you that we, uh, at our company, had a method that uh, did exactly that in a, sequ a sequential way. And this process included uh, parsing the Wikipedia articles, uh, resolving redirects, uh, tokenizing and uh, counting n-grams, and uh, aggregating counts. And uh, that was all uh, fine, but the, the big disadvantage was that it had a very long uh, processing time. So it took more than a week to process the whole Wikipedia dump, and uh, it was very hard to update and, and a bit tedious to, uh, to develop. So I assume most of the people in this room know what Apache PIC is. Uh, just a couple of words. It's uh, 
a framework for analyzing large data sets on Hadoop. And you can write your scripts in uh, Pig Latin that lets you more think in, uh, in tuples and bags. You can do fil filtering, um, uh, joining, group by very easily. And then a, a MapReduce job is compiled out of that script. So uh, using Pig, there's an open source project by um, a person from the Stanbol project called uh, Olivier Grisel. And he already um, did a lot of work that we uh, could utilize here. He wrote a pick loader for Wikipedia articles. He wrote some code to extract the links from, uh, from the sentences and so on. So it was, uh, was very good for us. We could uh, utilize this uh, project for the estimation of our probabilities. So again, what we want to have is the distribution of given a string or a surface form what are the most likely entities? And we would just do that by counting how often the surface form linked to an entity and normalize this by the surface form. And I have the, the example numbers there. For the uh, estimation of the other probabilities, you can uh, check the project website. So this is, uh, this would, there will be some uh, code examples here. And uh, our script starts like this. We just uh, fire up the... Um, the pick loader, giving it a Wikipedia dump, and it parses out the title, the ID, a page URL, and so on. And I'm omitting, uh, omitting some, some details now. Um, the, the interesting part um, that looks actually very neat in, uh, in pick starts right here. If we, are ha if we have a data set that contains the page links, so we have tuples that um, go from surface form to entity, we can just group those by the surface forms and then uh, count how many times a surface form occurred in, in Wikipedia. So for example, we see, we can count how often Michael Jackson was a link in Wikipedia. So that the string Michael Jackson was used to link. Um, now we can also group from the mapping from a surface form to an entity so this uh, relationship between this, the Michael Jackson linked to the singer or it linked to the journalist, we can also uh, count. And then we actually already have everything we need to, um, to estimate our probab probability distribution. All we have to do now is uh, join the two data sets that we just created. We have to do that uh, explicitly in uh, PIG. And, um, and then we just uh, divide the, the counts of the, the pairs uh, by, the, by the total surface form count. And what we end up is, with is a uh, maximum likelihood estimate of this uh, probability distribution. Now, this is not everything that is used in a uh, named entity recognition disintegration system. It's just a couple of numbers, like you already saw. It's, uh, the context is very important in, in systems like this. And, um, so, so just keep that in mind that this is just a small part about, um, about the whole thing. So um, what were the run times uh, before? We uh, are processing the German Wikipedia, which has approximately uh, 3.7 million pages. And uh, like I already said, um, the previous processing time was more than a week. And we didn't count names that had more than three words. And uh, with the new method on our uh, little development cluster that we have, uh, it was actually less than an hour. So that was like a significant uh, speed up and um, a big improvement, obviously. Um, we can also go to uh, names that are longer with uh, only a, a bit more processing time. Uh, people like uh, the two that I mentioned here might be excited that their names um, also have uh, scores now. Um, another nice fact is that um, it actually took also much less time to develop this version than, than the other one. Uh, PIG scripts are kind of um, easier and more straightforward uh, to write, so, so this is another plus. So um, some advertisement at the end. I already told you about DBpedia Spotlight. Um, it, um, this is my favorite uh, open source project, and it performs exactly the task that, uh, that we saw. You give it a plain text, and it will find you the entities in the text and dis disambiguate them uh, for you. Um, we have a free web service, uh, web demo. We are open, force, uh, open source on, on GitHub. And we're also participating in the Google Summer of Code. 
So end of the year, look out for some uh, new developments um, that, we, that we bring out. All right, so um, this is the last slide with a couple of uh, references. Remember Neophonie's hiring, so if you're uh, interested in, in doing stuff like that, you can uh, go to our website, and uh, I thank you for the attention. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have, we have free coffee, though. <laughs>